Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're going to be playing Majora's Mask. <gasps> okay. So, last time we played through the first three days, and we got our body back. So, let's go. Let's look. We got our body back, okay? Oh my gosh, this game is so loud. Hang on, you guys. Hang on, hang on. Oh my word, this is so loud in my ear. It's so loud in my ear. All right, let's see. Is that better? There we go. Okay. Now it's not blasting me away. All right, so we're going to step out here. <clears throat> we're just going to step out here real quick. That mask! The Skull Kid used the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. In the swamp, mountains, oceans, and canyon that Tao was trying to tell us about. Okay. There we go. I turned it down a little bit for you guys. Okay. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be headed to the direction of the swamp. Okay, so she's telling us, reminding us that we need to go to the swamp. Good morning, Kale. Good morning. The clock tower guy is so creepy. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is we need to slow down time. I think I did it right. I think that's backwards. Converted song of time. Yes, we're going to slow the current flow of time. I'm going to slow the front flow, flow of time. Okay, so that's the very first thing we need to do. And now that we got our body back, the next thing that we need to do is we need to come up here and we need to strike this owl because he's been a bad owl. And, um, oh, wait, I guess he liked it. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right, thank you so much, Lunar. Thank you so much. Have fun at church. The music's a bit soft now. Okay. Uh, turn it back up a little bit. All right, tell me how that goes. Um, but first... Before we do that, I have a couple things I want to share with you guys. So, we talked last time about how this game was, like, really super hated upon release. Why was this game hated so much? Well, the time reset that you just saw was the only way to truly save your game. There is a quick save, which is the owl statue that I just struck. So, when you once you strike the owl statue and you talk to it, you can do a quick save. But... If you turn off your N64, it's going to go back to the last time you did like a real save where you reset your three days. So this made the game like just incredibly challenging um, and almost impossible for a lot of people to complete without a guide because of the way the saving wor works. And you don't have a guide to help you. You would have inevitably come across something that you couldn't figure out and be so incredibly frustrated when you lose progress from the lack of of saving. Um, that being said, I just want to make it clear. This game obviously wants you to feel frustrated because Link feels frustrated. He's stuck in a terminal. Termina is a terminal. It's a transitionary place and he's unable to reach his destination. He's trying to find Navi. Um, but as you can see, all we get is these three days and we, have, we didn't see hide nor hair of Navi during the first three days. And this feeling of frustration is only going to grow as we get to know the townsfolk and understand their personal problems, not to mention the major problem of the moon falling. So I highly recommend for this game to play it on an emulator or the Switch version. You can do a quick, like a, a save state type of thing as well, um, because otherwise this game, it becomes very, very challenging uh, to play without a guide. Now, there is a really good guide on Zelda Dungeon, that website um, that you can use. Uh, if you just Google Majora's Mask Guide, it's like the first or second thing that pops up. It's really, really good, and it'll help you anywhere that you're stuck in the game. But that is why this game is hated so much. And um, it's also, though, why as a piece of art and as a story, it's one of the best Zelda games, as I told you guys last time. So I wanted to share, share that so that you now have a full explanation of like why this game was so contentious when it came out. And why nowadays you see a lot of praise for it. It's because everyone's playing on fucking emulators. They don't have to fight with the save mechanic. Okay, that's why. All right, let's go back to the game. <clears throat> so we are going to go 
over to here. Oh, yeah, here we go. My map's gone again. Yeah, yeah, it's um it's very much it's very much like that. So we're gonna come over here. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Come on, you can do it. You slowed down time. You can make it. We're gonna go over here. Not to North Clock. Yeah, um, did you play it on N64 when it came out, Garnet? I mean, a lot of people didn't. I didn't hate it when it came out either. I thought people were being quite unfair to the game and just didn't get it. But, um, I understood why they were so mad. Okay, we're gonna wait for the mayor's office to open at 10 a.m. Because we want to see the rest of that Madame Aroma scene. We missed a little bit of it last time. I want to see that. Um, so while we're waiting, I think we have time to, oop, where to get my, where is it? There it is. There's my map. Um, I'm amused that people who grew up with games like Majora's Mask are also sometimes people who don't understand that you can't pause online games. <laughs> uh, I think it comes just from, online games were not popular when I was growing up, and so if you stopped playing games... Um, and you only played them as a kid, I think it can be a little bit of a challenge to understand that. Oh my god, I keep going the wrong way. Oh, you never made the save correlation? Yeah, it's because that that's really why this game was hated. Like, truly, I think if they had a more forgiving save, um, then this game would not have been panned like it was. I think people would have seen it for what, honestly, like the genius of it, if they had just made it easier to save. But they didn't. Okay, so we're gonna get the fairy again. We're gonna do that. We gotta be back in um, East Clock Town at 10 so we can go talk to Madame Aroma. You guys can see that. We're gonna see if we can take care of the fairy beforehand since uh, we got slow. We can slow down time now. So yeah, I think that when it comes to this game, it was very controversial when it came out, and now it's basically beloved. You really don't see anyone still saying that Majora's Mask is a terrible game. But in the climate of, you know, the time that it came out in the early 2000s, I, you know, it, it was. It was really hated. People were very mad. They thought that this was not a good sequel to Ocarina of Time that everyone universally loved. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of gratitude. Oh. oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good, so that the stray fairies will not fear you. Alright, we got the Great Fairy Mask! Yay, this mask is absolutely essential if you're trying to get 100% um, and get all the bonuses from the Great Fairies. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. We really do want to get all of the stray fairies. I mean, it's optional. You don't have to do it to beat the game, as like most things in this game, you don't really have to do them to beat the game. But like, you should really do it. Considering opportunity or enough time, I also had to do with time. I just felt M -M yeah. I mean, Majora's Mask really took the concept of time from Ocarina of Time and um, fleshed it out into something that like it just it was like even more. You know, it was even more. I don't think we talked to the jugglers early in the cycle last time. Let's go see what they have to say. My, my. Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me, like the rumors about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh my, the kidnapping? Yep, but then the kid woke up. Get it? Kidnapping! Oh, 
I've got a million of them. Oh, yes. Um, we're about to go to the Southern Swamp and see what the heck and heck is going on there. All right. I think we still have to wait till 10. Yeah, 10 a.m. Okay. We're just going to wait a little bit. Um, I need to go. I didn't write it in the notes that I pulled up. So give me a second, I gotta go get my code for the for the bombers, because we're gonna go back in there too. Uh let's see. Where is my code? Alright. I told you you have to write that down. Now we're gonna set it to where um we can. Okay, there we go, I got my code. <coughs> Yeah, we're gonna do the swamp today. We're gonna do the swamp today. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. If you wanna pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Okay, so the code for us is five, three, two, four, one. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. All right, so he moves out the way. There's a lot of cool stuff at the telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice forever! Okay, um, I think with slow time we have time to go do this and we'll still be back here by 10. So let's go, let's go do this again. So now we're down here as Link, so we can actually swim! And um, it's easier to kill the Sculptula too if you want to do it, but I'm gonna walk around him, because I always walk around him. Now, at this point in the game, to pop the balloon, we still have to become a Deku. So, basically what that means is we can't just stay Link forever. To, uh, to fully understand what's going on in Termina, we must become the residents of Termina. Ah, uh, thank you so much! Thank you so much, Garnet. I'm working on it. Um, I've been trying more and more with games to do a little bit of VA because I think it's so much fun. All right, so we pop the balloon. We don't have to keep the mask on. We can take it off now. And I show, I'm showing these cutscenes, but I will skip them going forward um, for putting the transformation masks on and off. It's, it's just you don't have to see them every time. But I did want to show them at least the first time. All right. Hello, sir. Well, you're a child I've never seen in town before. Are you a new friend of the bombers? I always say that it is important to develop your interests while you're still young. You can use this telescope to look around town if you're interested. Give it a try. Remember, he doesn't remember us. Um, even though, like, and he wouldn't remember us anyway, because when he saw us before, of course, we were, uh, <laughs> we were a Deku. I'm going to watch this scene again. Oh yeah, I think it's super painful. I, I truly, I believe it's painful when he's becoming the other, um, the other forms. And based on an interview with the creators, when he becomes other forms, he's also taking on all of the memories from those other forms. So it's not just like body horror painful, it is also psychologically painful for a poor little Link. Well, how was that? Did you discover anything interesting? Okay, so then we're gonna go get the moons here again, just like we did before. There's a bit in the manga I'd like to share because it's related to the mask and we're not in the area where it happens yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the moon's tear. Okay, so we got the moon's tear again, so let's run back. <clears throat> Koneko, is it in the swamp? Because today, what we will be doing is going to the swamp and we'll get all the way to starting the temple. And that's um, probably where we're going to be done with Majora's Mask for today. Oh. Yeah! Rolling, 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 ha! Ah. We walk around the spine. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Alright, since we got the moons tier, we of course have to go talk to our friend the business shrub again. And, uh, and get his paper. And get the flower. 
Hey, guy, you haven't passed my test, so how did you know the secret code? Nobody but bombers know the code, so why do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. <laughs> I have won the respect of Jim once again. You managed to figure out our code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. What's your name, guy? Link, huh? All right. That skull kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Link the new bomber's new member of the bombers instead. This is the bomber's notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Yay, we got the bomber's notebook. It allows us to keep track of people's schedules. Okay, so now, in addition to being able to keep track of people's schedules, I don't have to write down the code. It's in the notebook. I'll show you in a second. Step one. Find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in the book. Promise to help them. Oh, two. Promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Three. Whenever you solve someone's problems, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. Four. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. Okay, Jim. Don't worry. I won't forget. Tattle, you tell that Skull Kid he's out of here. He's been acting like a real jerk lately. Okay, so I've got the notebook. Yes, and I was taught the secret code and this was added to your notebook. And Jim runs away. If we get to that bit today, okay, you'll share. Got it. All right. So now if we go over, uh, we have our bomber's notebook. It's right here. And you can see if I go over to this sticker right here, here is our secret code. You don't have to write it down anymore once you get to the second cycle and you repeat this to get the notebook. And you can see there's slots in here for 20 different people. So remember, the mask salesman told us that the masks contain happiness. So we have to help everyone in Termina fulfill their happiness before the moon falls and they all die. Okay, just like real life. The goal is, try to be happy before you die. Okay, we understand. Thank you, Jim. All right, we've still got time. We've still got time before 10 a.m. and we can get into the mayor's office. So let's see, what do we need to do next? Let's go, let's go talk to the um, business scrub. Let's go talk to the business scrub. All right, and remember he, the dog from before that hated Deku Link? Look, he's like cool with Hylians. This dog is just straight up racist. He's like Hylians, whatever, no reaction. Deku's bite. Wait, wait, hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Sir, sir. I keep hearing about the stone called the Moon's Tear, and it's supposed to be the shiniest stone in the world. Do you have one? If you have one, I'll trade you for this spot, and I'll throw in the Deku Flower too. This is a very popular spot among Deku Scrubs. Haven't you heard about this spot? I'm telling you, it's a real bargain. Okay, then we press start, and we've got our Moon's Tear. Okay, here we go. You can have the moons here. Are the inhabitants of Terma called? They're not Hylians. I don't know. They don't actually have a name. I guess they would be Terminians, um, you know, or humans. I'm not sure. Uh, as far as I know, I've never seen a canon listing of the human residents of Termina's name, like how in Hy uh, Hyrule they're Hylians. Oh, that stone! You must give it to me! In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. I'll throw in the Deku flower, too! Alright, we got the land title deed! Sir, you've really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't seen a jewel or jewel or strange shining stone like this in quite a long time. <laughs> the title deed for this spot will be in big demand by Deku scrubs outside of town. You should be able to sell it to a Deku Scrub for a good price. Okay, remember, this is the beginning of the trading quest. We said that before when we did it. Alright, okay, okay. Have good dinner, Koneko. I hope it's tasty. <clears throat> yeah, 
as as far as I call them, I call them Hylians, just like um, you would say in uh, in Hyrule. But obviously, we're not in Hyrule, so they really aren't Hylians. Um, but that's still what I call them. Okay. Oh, Gorman is going. We can follow him. Ooh. Nope. We don't need to play our opera. What's up, Gorman? Ah, bother, bother, I'm busy. Okay, so Gorman, leader of the traveling troop, was added to your notebook. Very cool. Stop, pot, in. Is there anything worth looking at in here while Gorman walks very slowly? Who's this? We didn't meet her last time. Welcome to the Stop, pot, in. Um, are you staying the night? No, we're not. Hmm. Oh, really? That's good. We're always totally booked right before the carnival. We're sorry we have to turn people away. I recommend making a reservation if you plan to stay with us during this season. Please, pay the stock pot in a visit in the future. Okay, this is Anju, the innkeeper, and she was added to our notebook too. Something I never thought about, but I assume that it was in Hyrule. Oh yeah, it's not in Hyrule. This is not in Hyrule. All right, let's see who's in here. Hello, talk to me. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Okay, we're not gonna hear a story right now. We're gonna pass. Anju's grandmother was added to your notebook. Okay, so that's someone else we're gonna help. <clears throat> and then we already saw back here. That's just like a little kitchen and washing area. And then up here, ooh, hello. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, that won't work. No, that's too basic. Okay, the Rosa sisters, the twin dancers were added to your notebook. Okay, so there we go. Uh, employees only, no admittance. Remember, that's the room that we can only get into at the very end. Uh, sneaking into other people's rooms, you're the worst. And, uh, and there's a rupee in that room. Oh, well, let's see who's in here. I hear music. Oh, there's the other Rosa sister. Judo's very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance for the town's carnival. Do -da -da. Even though the song is finished. Okay, so this is Guru Guru. He's a traveling musician and he was added to our notebook. All right, <clears throat> it's almost 10. So let's go back to Madame Aroma so we can see that scene. Oh, we're turned around, it's this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. We're so speedy fast with time slowed down. Gorman hasn't even reached it. He'll reach it at, at 10. Yes, so because this is an asset flip, every character pretty much has a corresponding model in Ocarina of Time. And um, there is quite the fan theory that all of these characters are like some kind of ghost or shadow version of all the characters from Ocarina of Time. The only ones that are like actually the same characters are us, of course, Link, Skull Kid, and the Happy Mask Salesman. Everyone else is technically a different character. Um, now, whether they have some kind of like parallel dimension type of connection to the Ocarina of Time characters, like that is something to be debated because uh, they are the same assets, but a lot of them don't even have the same names or anything. All right, so we're gonna walk in here that we can see this scene with Gorman. Come on, Gorman. What's back here? What's back here? Ooh, she's got she's got a bedroom. This is the bedroom, and the it's uh, hers and uh, the mayor's. Faye's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Okay, so that's interesting. We did meet Anju. We have not met Cafe. We have not met Cafe, but we can assume Cafe and Madame Aroma are somehow connected since Cafe's diary is found in the bedroom of the mayor and Madame Aroma. Hey, where's Gorman? Get your booty in here. Hello? Oh, he's talking to the receptionist. 
Yeah, she's cute. I know. I talked to her too. She's very flirty. Come on, Gorman. Move your ass. <laughs> I am of the Gorman trope, and I have an appointment to meet with Madam today. Oh, really? Then that should be fine if you just go in. Okay. Come on, Gorman. Get your booty ass in there. I wonder if Termina is like a result of Link's time magic. I suppose it could be. Um, when we first go into Termina, you know, you like kind of turn upside down and you go through a portal. Well, and turning upside down and going through a portal, the one that we witnessed at the very beginning of the game, that's not the only time in the game that this happens. It doesn't happen again until towards the end though. Yeah, Termina is not Hyrule. It's not Hyrule. But you're able to get Determina from Hyrule through the Lost Woods, which is what we did at the beginning of this game. Alright. Following Gorman in. I guess maybe I shouldn't have slowed down time so quickly, but I wanted to make sure we have enough time for everything. So I tend to like always slow down time. And then if I need less time, like I'll just skip ahead. All right, Madam Aroma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Uh, yes. They've canceled just now. What is this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work on this year's show, or that was the plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zora Band, the Indiegogos. You arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu the Diva in the Indiegogos has lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this means the Gorman Troop's job is... <laughs> it's off. But that's... That's all, Gorman. There's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Okay, so Toto the band manager was added to our notebook. Madame Maroma was also added to our notebook. Okay, so that was, we saw like the aftermath of that scene, but that's the actual scene that we missed during the first day. Lost Boats can be sort of a portal. Exactly, they can be a portal. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to the observatory. Go ahead and put the mask on. We can spin, spin, spin. We're gonna go back to the observatory because now that we did the trade with the business uh, scrub, there's another scene that we can witness in the observatory. Oh, that's right, because we already popped the balloon, so we actually don't need to be decooling. The balloon stays popped. It's not like Tingle's balloon where he inflates it back. <clears throat> around and around. I love the observatory. It's so, like, colorful. It's so gaudy. It's beautiful. I always say that it is important to develop your interests while you are young. You can use this telescope to look around town if you're interested. Give it a try. Yes, we're going to gaze into the telescope. And then instead of looking up at the clock tower, we're actually going to look just a little bit over here. There it is. Oh, hey, we saw him fly off. Where's he going? Let's try to see if we can find out. I on to you, Mr. Business Scrub. You said you was going to see your wife. Let's find out. Let's find out what's going on. Hello, I watching you. I watching you. Oh no. Where'd he go? It's really hard to keep track of him, but he is still there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The observatory is like a kaleidoscope. Oh, who's that? That's weird.
Hey, did I miss it? No, there he is. There he is. Deku, go down the hole. Okay, so that's interesting. Alright. Well, how was it? Did you discover anything interesting? Yes, I did, actually. I discovered something very interesting. It went in the hole. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta run back. We're gonna go to North Clock Town and get a few rupees. Because we need them for the next thing that we're gonna do. <clears throat> and I know I, we said we're going to Southern Swamp. I promise you I am. There's just, like, Clock Town stuff to take care of. <laughs> There's Clock Town stuff to take care of first before we go there. Uh, since we're 100%ing and I don't want to miss out on anything. So there's just like a couple little things that we're going to do. Alright, so let's go over to North Clock Town. So now we are Link, and remember there's this piece of heart up here. Well, first let's um, go ahead and get some monets. Oh my gosh, I should have put on the desk mask because it's easier to get the monies. Anyway, now that we're Link, we can actually hop up here. Up here. Oh, or you can just hop right off. That's a good idea, too. Yes. Okay, jump up. Jump. 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 And then jump. Do 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 do. We got the piece of heart! Yay! Okay, so you all you have to do for getting that piece of heart is just wait until you can be a Hylian. I want to get a few more rupees. I can't remember how many rupees it costs for the next thing that we're going to do. But it's probably like 10 or something. I don't know. We're going to do our spin attack. Now we can spin, spin. Spin for the win! Spin for the win! Okay, we got 11 rupees. Hopefully that's enough. All right, we're gonna go back over here. And, oh. I, for some reason, the east and west ones, I get confused a lot. Anyway, well, we'll go back to North Clock Town for a second and get more rupees. It's in the, it's in West Clock Town, not east. Okay, 16 rupees, 17 rupees, that's gotta be enough. That's gotta be enough. Okay, it's in the northern part of West Clock Town. We're gonna go to the Swordsman School. Remember we went and talked to him in that first three-day cycle, and he said there was nothing for us there because we are just a little Deku scrub with no sword. Well, now we are a Hylian with a sword. So, what you got for us, sir? What you got? This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So, will you try it? Okay, so we're going to do the novice course just so that we can see all the different sword techniques that can happen in this game. Hmm, the novice course. Okay, so we're going to do the novice course. Now then, before you draw your sword, I shall teach you the basics of unarmed combat. I'll start with sideways jumps. After pressing Z to lock onto that log with Z targeting, press A while pushing left or right. Okay. Try it yourself. All right, so we Z target, and then left or right, and then A. Next is the roll attack. After pressing Z to Z target, press A while pushing forward to roll. Begin. Next is the backflip. Lock on and Z target the log with Z, then press A while pushing down to jump. Okay, begin. Woo, backflip. All right, now think of that log as the enemy and practice your sword skills. First is the horizontal cut. Simply press B. Now then, begin. Wrong. Oh, because I was already Z-targeted. Just press B for the horizontal cut. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. Do not Z-target. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Do it right this time. Next is the vertical cut. Press B after Z-targeting with Z. Now then, begin. All right, so now we Z-target and then B. Next is the thrust. After pressing Z to Z target, push forward and press B. Okay, Z target, forward, B. And finally, the jump attack. Press A after drawing your sword and Z targeting with Z. Begin! Okay, so Z target and then jump cut. 
Well done. Do not forget what I have taught you thus far, and do not neglect your daily practice. And yes, you can press R to defend yourself with your shield. Did you know that? Well, I guess he just tells us that. It's not shield school, so he just tells us, but you can totally do that. All right. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So, will you try it? Okay, we are going to do the expert course now. I'm going to save my state. Expert course. The expert course is a practice session. Cut down the 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. Have you prepared? Okay, so you gotta pull out your sword, and then Z-target, and jump attack. You gotta jump attack all of them. Let's see if I can do it. Damn it! I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Uh, load state. Okay. Okay, yes, I prepared. Okay, so pull out my sword. Be target. Oh my god. I keep getting too excited and pushing the wrong buttons. Load. Yes. This is not hard, I promise. I'm just making it look hard by being too excited. Oh, hit. There we go. <sighs> hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Here. Yay, we got a piece of heart. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, we got the piece of heart. That's the whole reason that you want to do this is you get a piece of heart. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Okay, dude. You can stop drill sergeant and get us now. All right, to get a piece of heart there. So now we have a brand new heart container from getting those pieces of heart. Now, um, we need to go get some rupees out of our bank. Because we're going to need them. We need 100 rupees. Yes, I need to withdraw some rupees. Because I still have the ink on my head. Somehow, this person knows me. This person knows me even though I travel back in time and no one else remembers me, but the banker remembers me. Money time travels in this game. Yes, that's true. All right, so we've got 100 rupees. Now we're gonna go to the Southern Swamp, finally. We are, we are good with Clock Town for the moment. Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It's dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword. My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Okay, sir. I will. I will be careful. Don't worry. <laughs> you loved it all, Carnet. You loved it all. My struggles. My struggles with not jumping. <laughs> with not doing the jump attack. Yeah, I ain't got no aim. I ain't got no aim. So there's certain parts of this game that I will struggle with. So we're not going to walk quite to the south. We're going to go and um, find that hole. Because remember, 
Deku go down the hole. So we're gonna go down the hole and um, and see what our friend's up to. That he that just sold us that uh, that title for that uh, flower in Clock Town. All right, so it's over here. Let's fall in the hole. All right, so uh, there he is. There he is. Okay. <laughs> what was what was their voice? Oh, ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of art if you just keep this place a secret. Okay, so he's gonna offer it for 150 first. We're gonna tell him no thanks. Hmm, no good. In that case, you leave me no choice. What about a hundred rupees? And then you say, I'll buy it. If you say no thanks, he'll be like, fuck you and fly away and you won't get the piece of heart. So we're gonna buy it. You got a piece of heart. Yay. Okay, so we're starting our next container now. It's not that I don't believe you, but just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. You hurry up and get out of here too. Okay, so he went to his storage unit. Hopefully now he's going to actually see his wife. I'm not sure he has a wife. I think he took that gem and put it in storage with plans to sell it in the future. I think he's a lying liar of a business scrub. Let's break your pots. And your box. Okay, that's what you get. Don't worry, because we're gonna respawn and all your stuff will be back. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna actually go down south. So let's go back to where we were and we're gonna walk south to the southern swamp. <clears throat> Excuse you, enemy. I was enjoying the music. Alright, give me magic. Yay! Alright, we're gonna walk through this little tunnel guy. What's that drawing on that tree? That's crazy. What is that? It looks kind of like Skull Kid, doesn't it? Remember this? Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. Now we go back in the memories. This was before we arrived. Aww. They stuck in the rain. But look, there's shelter. <gasps> oh, tell us, Koneko. <coughs> oh no, it's Skull Kid and he's cold too. They cuddle together. <clears throat> Playtime! I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that? Oh, there it is where he stole it. This is what the Happy Mask sal Salesman told us about. Once he got his power... That's crazy. 
It turns out they're still called Hylians. Oh, okay. So I guess in the Zelda universe, the word Hylian is kind of like the word human. It really doesn't matter where they're, where they're from. It's just like, that's what they're called. All right, we are in the Southern Swamp now. First thing that we gotta do is kill these fucking keys. Die. Let's turn into a Deku so we can shoot them. Smack you in the face. Oh, stop jumping over me when I'm trying to kill you. God damn. Four of them bitches. Come here, stupid keys. No. No. Stop jumping on me. Ah. These come down. Maybe if I run over here, they'll come down. Yeah. Okay, where's the last one? There we go. Alright. Now we're gonna climb up this tree that we can do that now since the keys are gone. Problem is that there's both humans and Hylians. Hylians are basically humans with pointy ears and sometimes they're both referred to as humans. Oh! <laughs> that's crazy. Piece of hearts! There's a piece of heart up this tree. If you try to climb it while all the keys are there, it's very hard to get up there. It's very annoying. Also, we're going to jump down in this hole. <clears throat> and let's kill this. Let's kill these guys. Get some Deku nuts. Oh, and we got a Deku stick! There's other places to get Deku sticks um, in just a minute, but we can get that one from here. Um, but the reason why we hop down here is for this chest, because there's 20 rupees in here, and we need 20 rupees. So, if you need a little money for this next little bit, you can do that. All right, now... Bye, slime. Bye, slime. Yeah, the Zelda, um, the Zeldapedia is handy. All right, let's pop this. All right, it's our friend. But remember, he doesn't know us because we reset time. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though, I'm already age 35 and no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I saw maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Okay, so we're gonna buy the Woodfall map. There's no point in buying the Snowhead map right now. Just the Woodfall one is all we need. We got the map! Yay, so now we can know where we're going around this area. Well, call again! Tingle, tingle, kululim, ba! These are magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! Okay, Tingle is in spirit a Twitch streamer. A millennial Twitch streamer for sure. Yeah, the only thing I don't really like about like the High Rule Historia and a lot of those things is um, I liked the Zelda timeline when it was more of a fan theory than like a real thing that Nintendo had published. That's my only gripe with some of that like content. All right, let's spinny through these. Okay, these don't run away. So, so some of the bushes still don't run away in Termina. And then there is a Deku Baba right here. We can kill him. And there is an owl statue. So we need to strike the owl statue. You don't, we haven't gotten the thing right now that really matters for these owl statues, other than, of course, they're a quick save. But um, we will. We will. So it's important to strike the owl statues. You will see why later. All right, there's one main building here, so let's go into it and see what's going on. Oh, another business scrub. Thanks for stopping. You're not from here, are you? I sell magic beans to Deku scrubs, but I'd really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier place. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so remember... The other business scrub told us that his little flower in Clocktown was in high demand. Well, he wants to live in a livelier place. I guess he might want to have that. 
So let's do a trade. Oh, that's the town land title deed. I wish you'd let me have that. I'll give you this land in return. Deal? Da 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 da. Okay, we got the swamp land title deed. Okay, and then he's gonna go live in town. <clears throat> Goodbye. Bye. Bye, business scrub. Have fun living in Clock Town. Have fun. Bye. Okay, so he's happy now. And we need to become a Deku so we can use this flower because. Just like the last flower, we jump up here. Oh my gosh, it's a piece of heart! Do, 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 do. Yeah, I disregard the timeline too. I mean, this is obviously a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time, so like that's valid. But for the most part, I really don't think that the timeline is correct, except in like certain instances where it's very obvious. Otherwise, I just think it's a fun fan theory, you know? All right, so we are in the Swamp Tourist uh, Bureau. Let's see what this guy has to say. Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is playing Ookie again. A child of his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, <laughs> welcome. Well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? Um, we don't have a pictograph, sir. Huh? This is your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, and ch from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you first must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at the window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. Okay, so let's talk to this window. Old Kome's boat cruise, ticket off his clothes. Please inquire at the Magic Hat's potion shop near the edge of the swamp. Okay, so where's Kome? Um, apparently we need to go to the potion shop to figure that out, so let's go. So potion shop is over here. We can swim, which is what we're gonna do, or you can hop on those lily pads as a Deku. Either way, totally works. We're gonna swim this time. We'll, we'll hop back so that you guys can see that too. So you can see up there, that looks kind of like potions. Um, let's go this way and see what's up in here. Bye. I said bye. Thank you. What you get for clack clack in your mouth at me. Okay, let's climb up here. What? I thought it just. <clears throat> okay, Magic Hag's Potion Shop. Oh no, it's Twin Rova! Oh no! Well, they're not enemies in this game, they're nice ladies. <laughs> Welcome! My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate, Kome has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. Mm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could you go find her for me? Mm, yes, it's easy getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Okay, and you can see that you can buy potions from her, blue, green, and red. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go into the forest. So if you go back here, you will see a little entrance to a lost woods area. That's what she was talking about. We're gonna come back here. Mm, follow me. Okay, now we have to follow him. So Termina has its own little lost woods area as well. That's different from the lost woods area where we came in. We're not gonna bother killing the turtles. If they hit us, they hit us. It's not a big deal. You can kill them by be having your Deku form and like popping out of those flowers, but like it's super not necessary. Oh no, what's happened to her? Oh, ow, help me. I didn't mean to pick up the bush, I meant to talk to her. I was just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when, bam, I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid, did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow, to think that's powerful. And now I can't even move. You don't have anything that gives you energy. Okay, so no, we do not actually. Oh, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. All right, lady, don't worry. I'll go get you some medicine. All right, 
So now we're going to go back up here and let's talk to her sister again. Come on, go in the door. Thank you. Welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Okay. Ah! What's that? The Skull Kid got to call me? That's ridiculous. If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. We got a bottle. Okay. All right. Now, when it comes to this, it tells you put it on the select screen to use it, but do not do that yet, or you might accidentally drink it instead of giving it to her sister. So don't put it on your C uh, stuff yet. Quick, take this potion to her. Okay. Let's take the potion to her. Now when it comes to following these monkeys through the little Lost Woods area, if you don't follow them and you go a different direction, then you're gonna be directed back out of the Woods of Mystery and you're gonna have to try again. Mm, follow me. Um, and then also they do a different route each day. So day one versus day two versus day three. It's a different path that they take through the Woods of Mystery. So you can't necessarily memorize it. I mean, you can, but you have to memorize three different ones. this way and she should be right here. There we go. Oh, oh, yo! Don't feel obligated to help a sorry old hag when you see one. Okay, yes, yes, I do. Okay, so now we press start and we put it on our C items and we can give it to her. If you just do it without doing the talking first, you'll drink the potion right in front of her, which I have done on many occasions and it's very annoying because then you have to go buy more potion. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotaki's. <clears throat> she just springs up and she drinks it. And she's all better. Oh, feel the energy flow. Kome is relieved. And now she can summon her broom and she can fly away. You saved me. Yes, I did. I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat crew, so come by if you want a free ride. Okay, so she's gonna give us a free ride. All right, thanks, Granny. All right, we can get out of here now. And that got us a very important thing, our first bottle. Hey, monkeys. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall, strange. Brother go to temple. But brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple, temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku, now in palace. Help! Okay, so we have to help the monkeys find their brother. You can see we have a bottle now, yay. Let's kill some more grass. We hate uh, lawns in Zelda. Oh, got a heart, that's good. Lawns are evil. Um, they should not exist. Why I got to hit him twice? He's more resilient, I guess. Okay, let's put on the Deku mask. You can see, like, the hopping down. So, you can hop like this on the lily pads. So that's how you can cross it as a Deku. So you don't necessarily have to be Link and swim. You can lily pad hop. So that's good to know. We do want to be Link to talk to the boat crews. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal just for you. I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now. So we're giving this out for free. And then I got the pictograph. Yay. So we can take pictures. Now, I will tell you something about the way I extracted this ROM 
the picture box breaks for me sometimes. So I'm going to tell you how it's supposed to work and uh, we'll see if it works. <laughs> but I have I, I can like force it. Um, so you'll see. But maybe since I said that, it'll just work. We'll see. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fella over there. All right, the boat's leaving. Okay, so now we can take our cute little cruise. I love the music for this. It's like um, very cute carnival little music. All right, enjoy the swamp scenery to your heart's content. So we can look around fully. Oh, there's the moon, all angry at us. Okay. <clears throat> We can take this boat cruise. Oh, there's a froggy. Boom. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Well, now we're arriving at the Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Okay, you can see it's purple water. Anywhere you see the purple water, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be poison. All right, so what's going on inside here? Oh, more poison water. Palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Um. Okay. Well, uh, what if I'm not an outsider? Or what if I just change right in front of you? What then? This is the Palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> this is the thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can tell us about it, Koneko. We're about to, uh, we're about to see it. <clears throat> Alright, Deku King's Chambers. Let's see what's going on here. Rumor has it that the monkey ate the princess. What ate it? How frightful! <laughs> Only the royal family members can enter the sunken temple, so it's obvious that the monkey was using her. Oh gosh. I saw it! That monkey and the princess entering the temple at night! But only the monkey came back out! Tiny princess only recently learned to play the Deku Pipes. His royal highness was so proud of her. Oh gosh, okay. Um, well, here's here's the monkey over here. You can see him right up there. Uh, but let's go talk to some of these other guys. Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Alright, um, let's talk to the king. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has just insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in the cage. Take a good look at his face. Okay, now, this is who you're supposed to take a picture of. So if you want to get full marks for your picture, then you take it of the Deku King. Oh, that was not a very good one, I don't think. And my game freezes right here. Like, I just, I think this that my ROM is jacked up. I don't really know what's up with that. Um, no, let's, let's do it a little bit better. Come on, look back down. There we go. That's gonna be a better one. <clears throat> okay, yes, we're gonna keep this picture. Now, if everything goes well, it should, like, save that, but for some reason in mine it doesn't. Yeah, he's super angry. He's very, very angry. It's night of the first day. I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. Okay, so he doesn't even speak broken English. Um, he's the smartest monkey. The 
the other monkeys speak kind of broken English. Was my brother all right? Did you see the entrance to Cage? We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance, but entrance in tall place, no can reach it. Neb Bean from Bean Cellar, live beneath Garden Palace. Mmm, understand my meaning? Yes, we do. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. Okay, so what we're gonna do first actually is we're gonna go over here. And um, this is the ever popular Zelda guard dodging. All right, if you come here at night, you can see like exactly what direction they look in their like field of view. So very, very useful um, for doing guard dodging. All right, so we're gonna run through here. Oh shit, I got thrown out. Now, if you get thrown out, I guess it's worth showing this. If you get thrown out, you just walk right the fuck back in. That's it. I told you not to enter any areas within the Royal Chamber. It was very rare occasion that you were allowed to enter. Do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the Royal Chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay, so they tell you that, but then you just ro go right back to breaking the rules. Um, uh, Link's a rule breaker. What can I say? He don't care. Um, how are we going to do this? This, and there we go. Get through the door. Alright, there's a piece of heart over there. Let's wait for this guy to kind of walk. Yep. Oh shit. I should have paid I should have watched him longer. Yeah, it's really not a big deal. You just literally go right back in. You can see he's gonna say the same thing again. The guard. Yep. <laughs> I told you not to. Yeah, I know, I know, I told you. You can just try over and over again. We're gonna get this one though, we're gonna get it. It's not, it's not too hard. Right behind this. Dang it! He flipped a different way than I thought he was going to. Oh my gosh! I swear I usually don't have so much trouble with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We got it this time. We got it. quick enough I was not quick enough I think that was about I was just slightly too late but that's probably what I was supposed to do the other one's like right by the heart piece all right six times the charm I don't even know if this is attempt number six zillionth times the charm okay I don't know how he didn't see me but he didn't Remember not saving the monkey in time? Don't worry, we're gonna save the monkey. We're gonna save the monkey. Yay! 
Get it, Link. Yeah, I got the pizza part. All right, now they can just throw us out. Yeah, throw me out. An intruder! Oh, okay. I'll look after the stream, Koneko. All right. <clears throat> so now what I think we're going to do is we are actually going to run back to Clock Town because there's some stuff that we can do starting at midnight in Clock Town. So let me show you guys how you can just kind of like jump back. We can bounce even though it's poison. It's poison so Link can't swim. So we have to do this little leaf jumping if we want to get back. Which you totes can do. Since we, um, since the boat crews came and poked the little, uh, Octo Rock guy to death. And there are enemies here that can hurt you. I, like, I never bother killing them. I just walk past them. I don't think it's necessary. Oop, I did not mean to jump yet. Time to drown. Now, if you do drown, it's really not a big deal. It just starts you back where you just were. Um, so no problems. Oh, I thought I could make it to that. Maybe I have to go to the lily pad. Yeah, I have to go to the lily pad. Now you can see we're back to um, the clear water again. There's the um, potion shop right there, and uh, we can keep going. Oh, that's what I get for not paying any, any attention. But you can see it just starts you back from where you were before. The last, like, solid object. This is one of the areas, this jumping mechanic is one of the areas that makes me like the original a lot better. The um, lily pad water jumping mechanic doesn't function exactly the same in the remade version. <clears throat> and... Um, it doesn't quite work. Like, there's certain spots where you can get legit stuck in this game, which is not possible in this version. So just something to keep in mind for, for like, how you play this game. All right, we're going to leave the swamp. We're going to go back to Clock Town. So nighttime in this area, instead of the jellies, we've got wolfos. So that's a different enemy that we have to deal with in this area. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. I don't ever kill kill the wolfos really either. Um, they're so annoying. They block and block and block, so I just run away. I just run away. Alright, we're gonna go back up to Clock Town. <clears throat> also, Termina Field has different enemies at night. These like skull guys. But they're easy to kill. No problems. Goodbye. So there's like differences with day and night, just like there was in um, Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask is no different. The wolf models are the least intimidating thing ever, right? They're like kind of cute. They're like kind of cute, but they're very annoying to actually fight. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do is remember in North Clock Town, we had that lady... Um, who got attacked and her bomb bag stolen and the thief is for whatever reason immune to Deku's that dick so uh, but we don't have to be a Deku anymore we can be Hylian so here we go coming for you motherfucker I'm not doing anything suspicious really okay okay we believe you don't worry I'm not gonna hurt you I promise it's gonna be okay <clears throat> Let's collect some rupees while we wait. In fact, actually, let's do... Let's, um... Move time back to normal. So that we're not just waiting and waiting. Yep, we played the song of inverted time. Yes, let's return it to normal. Spin, spin. And anywhere there's like the heart, heart containers in this game, I'm pretty sure this is true in Ocarina of Time as well. Those become just hearts you can pick up. So you can see like there's a heart up there. I'll back up. Heart up there in the tree. You can go grab a little heart. 
if you've already picked up that heart container, that's what it becomes. Same thing if you look on the top of the clock tower where we picked up that other heart container, and then also just now where we did it in the swamp for, with the dead food scrub flower. Same deal. This is also a good time, if you didn't get the adult wallet in that first cycle, to go around like and farm rupees in Termina instead of just these little green rupees. Like I'm mean, just I'm just wasting time right here. But in in the Termina, there's a lot of areas you can get a lot more rupees. So that's really what I would recommend spending this time on right here is getting the adult wallet, so that um you can do some of the other things that I showed like. How you kind of have to get the adult wallet to get that piece of heart from the Deku scrub that I just showed because it's going to cap out at 99 and you have to spend 100 with him. You don't have, you can't carry 100 without the adult wallet. Yeah, if you look online, there's like routes you can run through Termina Field that net you a lot of rupees really quickly. So you can get your 200 deposited so you can get the adult wallet from the banker. <clears throat> Alright, it's almost midnight. So there's several different things that get triggered. Um around this area midnight on the first day. So we're just gonna try to like boom, 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 hit them all. All right, this guy's the first one, but there's a few of them that we're gonna do. It's gonna get us a couple pieces of heart and a couple of new masks. Thank you, I played this game a lot, Garnet. So um, I think that I am playing it very fast. That's probably not what most people will do when they do a playthrough, but because I already know the solutions, <laughs> To all the puzzles, I can really think about like the time management aspect of this game. And I think that's really, for me at least, when kind of the fun unlocks, which is like once you start to realize like, oh, I want to get this accomplished and this accomplished, you can start kind of like planning routes for like what I'm what you're going to do in each three day cycle, as it were. So I think that's like where this game gets really super fun, like on replays where you can do that level of planning. All right, so at midnight again tonight, he's here. He's gonna he's gonna take her her bag, and um, we can do something about that now because we have a sword. There we go. You're not immune to swords, bitch. Get out of here. Yeah, get, get your happy ass. Run. Get your happy ass out of here. Get the fuck out. Bye, thief. Get out. Get out. Guard. Hello. Useless once again. <sighs> Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stop bomb bags in our shop. Maybe I'll put him out tomorrow. Uh, yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but keep your... But maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. Okay, now we've got the blast mask. The blast mask is so cool. You get bombs all the time. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. All right, so now she's in our notebook, and we have already made her happy. So... I'll show you what that means in the notebook. Okay, so if we go into our notebook, we go into our notebook, we can see here, she's got a happiness sticker, right? And we've got the blast mask from her. So she is good to go. You can see at the very end, the ones that are happy, they have like the star, right? So you can see she does too. So she's done, we've, we have made her happy. She's, she's good, She has life is fulfilled for her. And then what we can do is we can use the blast mask. We can use the blast mask to blow things up. Boom! If you do your shield, for whatever reason, you don't take damage when you blow yourself up. So if you explode and then quickly do the shield, it can work. Um, but we exploded it, so. Let's uh, put the Deku mask back there. Oh, I gotta take it off first. Oh my gosh, stop pushing the wrong buttons. All right, put the Deku mask back. All right, so now we need to get out our ocarina. We need to slow, slow the flow of time again. If you don't slow the flow of time here, it's like impossible to do the next couple things I'm gonna do. So you have to. 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid, King GB. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing? We are doing our 100% Majora's Mask playthrough. This is the second, like, three-day cycle round that we are doing. Um, and uh, and we are just, we're slowing the flow of time. We're doing some stuff for that, that first night. Um, let's do a shout-out for King GB. There we go. Thank you so much. Kingdom Hearts... Oh, where are you at in Kingdom Hearts? That's another game that I really, really enjoy. Um, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. What is this? Oh, this is God of War, is it? Oh, that's a cute little wolfo. I'm good, I'm good, GB. If you need to go take a break um, or go into lurk mode or something, please feel free. I know I always do when I raid out. Um, I always have stuff I have to do, you know, rest or whatever, self-care and that sort of stuff, and I totally support that. Thank you so much for bringing your community to me. I really, really appreciate it. New people raiders, I am Karen Terry. I'm a variety streamer. Um, we play a lot of Sims 2, and we also have a media analysis podcast that I do on Saturdays. Our next one is going to be on Saturday, and we're going to be analyzing the musical The Last Five Years. Um, and we are also going to be this year doing a lot of Hunger Games content on the podcast. That's going to be really super fun. Uh, and then we play a lot of games with good stories. So I have 100% playthrough of Final Fantasy X, for example. And this is the beginning of our 100% playthrough of Majora's Mask. So that's what you can expect from me. And thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so now we are going to go, um, <clears throat> we're going to go right out here, right out this gate to the north area. They'll just let us pass now. All of the guards can communicate with each other, no problem. So we're gonna come out here. And we're looking for the top of one of these little mushroom thingies. Yeah, that guy over there that's dancing. So he's having a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go hang out with him. He looks like a good time. Alright, what's up, sir? I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Translation, I am disappointed. Oh, Moon, I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. Okay, so the spirit dancer Kamaro is added to our notebook. And we know a song. We know a song for healing. Um, and especially for, for dead people. It is the song of healing, so left, right, down, left, right, down. Okay, so let's play that. Left, right, down, left, right, down. You played the song of healing. <clears throat> oh. Spread my dance across the world. Drain its followers. Translation, I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. All right. So now we've got the Kamaro mask. All right. <clears throat> so we've got that. We're going to go use it. I'm counting on you. He dances like me after brunch. <laughs> Translation, I'm counting on you. All right. So we became the dancer's successor, and this was added to our notebook. So he's happy now, too. So let's go back into Clock Town. We're going to use this mask. We're gonna go use this mask. His dance is the best dance ever. Um, I mean, I go to the club and do uh, his dance all the time. Uh, the Camaro's dance um, makes all the boys wanna buy me drinks. Um, and some of the ladies too. Like, I highly recommend it. Good strat. <clears throat> all right. So if you guys remember from our first cycle, the dancers are over here. I about went the wrong way. They're over here hanging out dancing. Is this how you met your spouse? Yeah, duh. He was so captivated by the amazing dance that I did. Um, <laughs> okay, remember, they're over here. They were rude bitches to us before. So let's see how they react now that we have this amazing mask. Don't bother us. Okay, so they still say that, but let's dance in front of them. Watch me dance. The 
guard likes it. He's like, wow, them three is sexy. The fuck? I'm gonna get their numbers. Thank you for teaching us those steps. <laughs> You're our master. Okay, thanks ladies. I stole their hearts. That's mine now. <laughs> yeah, he's got two girlfriends. Link's now got two girlfriends. All right, so we got another heart container. Fuck yeah, we stole the hearts of the dancers. This was added to your notebook, so they're happy now too. Master, you're so cool. All right, so next, let's go over to the Stockpot Inn. There's somebody we need to help in the Stockpot Inn as well. All right, we need our Deku. Oh, I forgot to take it off. Take off the mask. All right, we need our Deku mask and we need our deed. All right. Stock pot in, here we come. All right, we can't get in there right now. If you remember, we can't get in there at night, but we have secret entrance. Secret entrance for Deku. We can fly. And then we can come over here and we can still get into the inn. So we can still get in. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna come, is it upstairs? No, it's downstairs. We're gonna go downstairs and we have somebody that needs some help. The game's going awesome. Okay, so um, there's a hand coming out the toilet. Oh. B -b -b paper, please. Okay, now um, here we go. We just happen to have a piece of paper. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you saved me. Fire escape. Nope, Deku entrance. Exactly, Koneko. This bell down here, I'll give it to you. All right, here's another piece of heart. All right, so. Question, question, question was added to the notebook and we helped him out of a jam. So <laughs> uh, let's go see our progress in our notebook now. So all three of those things that we just did, basically you have to do in between like midnight and like three or 4 a.m. ish or something like that on that first night. So bomber's happy, um, bomb shop lady happy. Okay, the Rosa sisters happy, mystery hand happy, Kamaro happy. So we're doing really good. I am, I'm racking up them heart containers. Um, I told you guys, we're gonna try to get 100%. We're gonna try our best to get 100%. Okay, there's one more midnight person that we wanna go talk to. Um, so let's go to the laundry pool. This is another one that you get after midnight. <clears throat> oh wait, no, we can go this way. Yeah, if you know where to go, um, Garnet, you can get a ton of heart containers really early in this game. Oh, we don't need the Deku mask anymore. All right, we don't need that dog attacking us. <laughs> Garnet, I save, I save all the VODs, don't worry. Don't worry, it will be on my YouTube and you can watch them. Also, if you if I am not finished with the game and you need some more, Chugga Conroy is probably the most other, like is a super thorough Majora's Mask playthrough that I could recommend. La la la, la la la, they said I was too much, too loud. When I practiced in my room, they got mad. Sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah oh, yes, I'll do that. And dear guest, long ago, I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a, why could a, why could a man join? That's could a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the why was the why was the dog the leader? Because it was something was wrong with me, sir. Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I, that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because I was the, wanted the leader's mask, but I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. All right, we got the Bremen mask. This is very important to get for something that we're going to do at the end of today's Majora's Mask episode. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. Okay, so we listened to the confession of guilt and we got added to the notebook. So we got that too. All right, I think... Oh, no, there is one more thing we want to do in Clocktown. So remember, we did not buy... I told you guys we, we're not going to buy 
the bomb bag at first because we're going to very quickly be able to get the bigger bomb bag. So we're going to go get that bigger bomb bag now. Um, bomb shop, is it here? Is it this one? No, it's this one. So because we saved the old lady, instead of the regular bomb bag in her store, we have the bigger bomb bag. Okay, so here we go. Okay, 90 rupees and it holds 30 bombs. I'll buy it. Fuck yeah. Now we've got the blast mask and we've got bombs. You're welcome, sir. All right, that's all we need right now. We don't need to worry about bomb chews or anything like that. And we're not going to buy bombs either because we're going to go farm them very quickly. It's going to be very super easy. Look, they're doing my dance. They're doing my dance now. Oh, ladies. Thanks. Good job, ladies. Okay, so let's go back to the northern permanent area. I'm going to come out here. You can buy bombs for this next thing if you want to. Or you can just come out here and uh, mow lawns. And, um, and then you're going to, you know, you're going to get bombs. All right, time to mow the lawn. All right, didn't get any bombs. Um, usually you get bombs pretty easily. Yeah, we have the bomb bag. I got it. Okay. Well, anyway, let's mow some more lawns. Maybe if I use my sword, it'll be okay. I'll get more bombs. Plant destroys plant. Yeah. Oh, there's bombs. There we go. Maybe it's because I was ejected. It wasn't giving me bombs. Boom. I mow your lawns. Okay. Um, now... We need to actually equip our bombs. Oop, nope, like that. We're gonna come down over here. <clears throat> so this, you don't necessarily have to do at night or anything. We've done all the things that are like the past midnight on night one stuff. This you can kind of come and do anytime um, after you get bombs. Or I would recommend doing it after you get bombs. You'll see why in just one second. Okay, so we're gonna come down to this hole. This is right underneath the mushroom where we had the dancer earlier. Okay. Because I'm bad at aiming, as you can see, there's two Dodongos in here, and so I am gonna save state. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna save state. Um. Yep. Uh, save state. There we go. <laughs> it's a plan eat plant world that's right okay so now we're gonna z target oh and apparently we're gonna Oh my gosh. Uh, no. No. Stop. Stop. Don't fire me. We gotta get out the way. Because the Dodongo himself blows up. There we go. Get a purple rupee. And yeah, and you can see the Deku King picture wasn't in there. So like something's wrong with the way that I extracted the ROM for the um when it comes to the pictograph, and I don't know exactly what it is. Alright, Dodongo's gonna explode. But that's okay. I'll show you guys what the other picture you can take that's not the Deku King. I was able to get that to work um on this ROM. So. Alright, we get the other purple rupee. <clears throat> All right, and another piece of heart, yay. All right, <clears throat> now that's all the stuff that I wanted to come do here. I think this, we can go back to the swamp now. No, don't throw snowballs at me. I don't deserve that. 
All right. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to the fastest way. I mean, you can like run around in a circle around Termina if you want to. And uh, later on, that will be faster. But for right now, and the abilities that we have right now, I think running through Clock Town, go north to south, is a little faster. That's what we're going to do. And you can see this is even the Deku scrub that we sold it to. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're the one who gave me this land deed. Thanks to you, I've been able to do business in a place I've always dreamed of. But there aren't many places to plant beans around here. Do you know what magic beans are? I'll sell you one for 10 rupees. Okay, so now he will actually sell you magic beans as a Hylian because you helped him out. So you can get beans in Clock Town if you go through this quest, um, but that's not necessary. So we're not gonna worry about that right now. Oh, uh, well, that's too bad. If you ever want any, look me up. We could buy beans from him because we are gonna need some beans in a, in a minute, but there's another place that I know everyone is gonna have access to no matter what you've done. So I'm gonna buy beans from that place um, just because I think, you know, I, you're not not everybody is going to be able to buy the beans there because you have to do so much to get to that point All right back to the swamp we go <clears throat> Wonder what we're having for dinner tonight. I can't remember. I feel like I was told and I don't remember we had ribs yesterday we had ribs and we had um, mac and cheese with white cheese. It was really good. Leave me alone, Wolfo. Um, there is stuff that way, but we're ignoring it for now. I'll show that what's down that way later. Um, and we had corn on the cob. And we had a veggie platter with like tomatoes and ranch and stuff. It was really good. I can't remember what we're having today. All right, we're back in the swamp. Um, I think we can take the boat tour again to get over there. I don't think we have to hop. Let's go see. Go see. Or if she's going to tell us. Nah, fam. You got to hop, hop. If you're going on the boat cruise, you buy a ticket here. Um, adults 50 rupees. Oh, okay. No. Because here's what I'm going to do. So the pictograph got jacked up. So if you, if you can show him the picture of the Deku King. But there's an alternative that you can do that's not the Deku King for the picture. So let me show that. <clears throat> While we're here. And then I guess we can pay for the boat tour. So we don't have to hop hop back. So here's the other thing that you can do instead. I think I need to... Yeah, don't snap. Dang it. I didn't mean to press snap. Now I have to wait for it to unfreeze. I meant to shoot him down. No, we're not keeping that picture. We're going to stop. We're going to Deku. We're going to shoot him down. I don't want to go too far forward because then um, the Wolfo will spawn. All right. We don't need to be him anymore. I think a profile will still work. Yes. Okay. So, if you did not put two and two together, the man-child son uh, that the pictograph guy was complaining about is Tingle. Okay? So, that is uh, his son. <laughs> uh, so, let's show him a picture of Tingle. So, you can do this with this picture as well. And I actually think this scene is funnier anyways. So, it's fine. <laughs> Well, then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? Okay, please work and not break. <laughs> it worked! <gasps> wow, that's my son! Blimey! Ish, is he still doing that sort of thing? Oh, how humiliating. This guy, he's my son. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for doing all that trouble. This is just a small token of gratitude. All right, so you can get a heart piece. If you get, there's other pictures you can get too that get you rewards, but those rewards are all rupees. You have to do Deku King or Tingle to get the heart piece. And in the remake, um, oh, but could you tell my son something for me? Could you uh, please ask him to not go outside in that outfit anymore? 
So I don't think it's the case in this version, but in the remake, there's like a picture of him and Tingle on the desk. Um, but I don't think it's not in the original N64 one. I think that's only in the remake. Okay, so since we have rupees, let's just pay for the boat tour again. Um, we'll do that. So, great, kids are 10 rupees. Okay, so we're just gonna take the boat tour again to get back to the um, deck palace. Yeah, we're done taking pictures. We're done with that. Yes, we'll enjoy the scenery. Okay, so actually we can do... Let's set our ocarina. There we go. All right, scenic boat. And you can see that there is more to the swamp over this way. So you can see that there's some more stuff over there, and you can hop hop over there. But we're not going to do that right now. The swamp water is poisonous. Yes, we know. Yes, we're disembarking. All right. So we went in here, and we explored the left side and got a piece of heart. So we're going to go in here into the palace, and we're going to go to the right side now. Okay, they have to let us in. Oh, they're still mad at us. I told you not to enter any areas other than the royal chambers. It's a very rare occasion that you are allowed to enter, so do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay. Yes, sir. I understand. But I like to break rules. All right, it's still nighttime, so we can still kind of like see their trajectory. Um, but uh, once uh, daytime rolls around, you can't see where they're looking anymore. Oh, super speedy, super speedy through section one. Okay, can we super speed through section two? Let's find out. Where are you going, sir? Are you going around there? Oh, and it's about to be, about to be the next day. All right, and then we want to fall down this hole. So that's what we're trying to do. That went much better than the other time. <laughs> Ooh, more lawn care. Okay. Oh, it's not zooming in in the, oh, it's funny, because I, I guess because I changed scenes. All right, so we don't need to be a Deku anymore. So we want to come up to this guy and we want to buy a couple beans. Well, chomp chomp, you're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. That they do, they do. Mm, I'll give you one free sample, so try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. All right, so here he'll give you a free magic bean. And um, we need to buy one more. Did I write down how, if I need to buy one more? I, I didn't write it down. We're going to buy a couple beans because I don't remember how many beans I need. Okay, we're gonna buy some more beans. Let's gonna buy one more bean. We have plenty of money, it's okay. Yes, we'll buy it. Super cool beans. <laughs> Doing the laundry, exactly, Goneko. You can plant them wherever you want. <laughs> if you don't water them, their leaves won't grow. Okay. Dawn of the second day. Yes, okay. So now we need our bottle. We need our bottle. Oh, and our beans. All right, so here's a sample to test. So let's get some water. Yay, we got spring water. And then this sign says, please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you, Swamp Tourist Center. So somehow the Swamp Tourist Center got all the way over here, even though you can only get past here if you're a Deku. So maybe that wasn't always the case that like non-Dekus could totally visit the Deku Palace at any point. Um, maybe it's like literally just like right now because everything's kind of crazy. I don't really know, but um, I always found that kind of like little interesting. Okay, let's get on here. Now, this is cool because remember he gives you that first bean for free. 
And we're gonna need more than just the one bean. So if you do the practice area and you use up your one free bean, you can come in here and you can get 20 rupees. And now you can go buy yourself another bean. So the game kind of, in a lot of ways, this game really helps you with like not getting yourself, oh fuck, I meant to, please don't catch me. I need to go back in. I need more water, I need more water. Cause the water outside is poisonous. So I need the, the water in here. I just forgot my water. Get more water. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. All right. <clears throat> All right, now we can get caught. An intruder! <clears throat> All right, so let's go, let's do our hoppy hop. Because remember what the monkey told us is that there was a high place, but you had to come around to this side to get to this high place. So we're gonna hop hop around over here. Hop, 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 hop. Uh, the hopping across the water is so satisfying. I love doing this. All right, you can die. I do not. Okay, I'm gonna take the mask off. Plant the beans, and now we water them. And it grows! Yay! And now we can ride up. Alright, and now we are in this upper part of the kind of like little mazy that uh, that we were in before, where we were kind of were navigating past the guards. So, those guards are below us, but look! There are also upper guards that we didn't know about before. Now, when it comes to um, <clears throat> when it comes to doing the Deku flowers and stuff, this is really the first time in the game that you have to use them. So this, so I would recommend, you know, after you have done this segment, it really gives you some practice with popping out the Deku flowers. And shit, and you can um do what I did and totally fail because you're trying to talk and. And navigate at the same time. Um, <laughs> so you can uh, go do the Deku Playground once you have mastered. Just catch me, just catch me, it's faster. Yeah. Um, once you have done this little section, you can go do the Deku Playground and you'll find out that it's much, much easier because you've had some practice with navigating the flowers. Um, okay. Anyways, let's go back and do this and not fail this time. I like how the Water Eyes Studio Ghibli physics, it just kind of drops in. Yeah, it's like, bloop! Um, <laughs> Studio Ghibli's water always does, like, kind of have a thicker consistency. It's like, Studio Ghibli water, like, thick water. Like, they put cucumbers in it or, um, or something. It's like, it's like water slime instead of water. Okay, so anyway, let's not fail this time. Um, let me get my Deku Nuts. Oh, fuck. I thought I was gonna kill him, but I didn't. God damn it. Okay. Just catch me. Just catch me. It's fine. So instead of going into the flower, you can shoot him. I guess we'll we'll do that. I was trying to be fancy because you can also just like drop a bomb and then spin attack when you land on the flower and go right in, um, which is really fun to do. But I failed at it. So let's do it the right way and shoot him with our snot bubbles. <clears throat> These things do not have very good aim, so sometimes it takes a lot of hits to get them. Um, so yeah, 
If it takes you a bunch of tries, I'll probably come across one that takes me a bunch of tries at some point. Because the bubbles, they really... I mean, and I can't aim anyways, but even if you can aim, they're hard to use because they really don't have a good aiming mechanic. And you can see in day two, it's, uh, it's raining here in the southern swamp as well, just like it was raining in Clocktown during the day on day two. Aha! Okay. We're doing pretty good with our snot bubbles. These pots, I'm pretty sure, will give you magic? Yep. So they'll give you magic in case, like, you used a bunch of it to, uh, to shoot snot at the guys. And then we walk across here. This is that middle area. And now we're on the other side. Yep. There we go. Alright, we've got to land on the moving one. That little thing is in the way. Haha, I did it. Usually that one takes me a zillion tries because I keep hitting the wall instead of the guy. Alright, now we gotta wait for this one to come back our way. And for whatever reason, the lower guards don't ever look up. They never, ever look up. Ever. <clears throat> Alright, and if you watched this platform, you saw it kind of, like, raised up at the end. So we have to wait until it gets all the way over here and starts raising up before we pop out. Otherwise, we won't make it. And then we get on this ledge. There we go! Now we have made it into this little area. Let's talk to the monkey. They keep saying I'm kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Why wouldn't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Okay, so um, for this section, now we are inside the little monkey's area. And um, we got to take out the Deku pipes. Oh, you have them, you do! Just like the princess Deku pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? <laughs> Anime fall. <laughs> and then suddenly they notice. Whoa, oh, that's not important now! Just listen to me! <laughs> oh, I guess they didn't notice quite yet. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But that temple has become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yes, I understand your plight, monkey. So then, that means you will go in my place to save the princess. Yes, I will save the princess. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Up left, up left, A right, A. We have to play it quietly. Alright, we're going to play it quietly on our massive ass pipes. Hello! <gasps> it's snack time, you guys. Thank you! For chicken wings. Get chicken wings and more of the veggie platter and stuff. Mm hmm. All right, we learned the Sonata of Awakening. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows, approves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. King, please. <laughs> Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence! 
Okay, so uh, that just happened. You'd better they take the shortcut to the Deku people used to get to Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. Why does the melody sound like an old-fashioned ringtone? Oh my gosh, it kind of does. All right. Now we go here. I didn't realize it was already 2 o'clock. The segment is taking longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. We still got a few things we're gonna do. Come on, dragonflies. Best way to kill them was to get them to come over here. But these guys will automatically defeat you. And then they attack and you boop! Oh gosh. Rude. Come on. He wasn't close. Boom. Got him. Yeah. Okay, now we can fly over here. Yeah, the dragonflies are actually very fucking annoying. We'll fight more of them in the temple when we get to that next week. They're so annoying. It's not all of them fly to you like that, making your life easy. Some of them you have to actually shoot from a distance. Okay, we come over here. Oh, who's that? Hey, you're not an owl statue. You're an actual owl. Ho 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 ho. This is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. This swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. What? And this destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, you had not seen any of the stone statues that bear my choice close resemblance to me. I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of your encounter on any of the stone statues, then this song carved in my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it wherever the need arises. From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends, transcending time and place. All right. So now we, now you know why I was whacking those statues. It's because we're about to learn how to teleport. Okay, so we've got some notes carved into the stone. So let's play them. All right, down left up, down left up. Now we learn this song. All right, Song of Soaring. Sweet. So now we can teleport all around. Hmm. I was trying to read chat and fly at the same time. Mm. Terminal is an illness that doesn't get better. The gods are fading and the moon is falling. It's not... Oh, I love that interpretation, Koneko. I think of Termina as terminal because it's transitory for Link. Like, he is here looking for Navi. And um, and you'll see at the end of the game what he ends up finding instead of Navi. Um, you'll see how it ends. And, uh, and so that's why I think it's supposed to be like a terminal in an airport, quite literally. You know, a transitory area. But... Um, I do really like your interpretation because from Termina's perspective, things are terminal until Link shows up and helps them. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. I hate these guys too. They're so annoying. Oh, bitch. Okay, I didn't fall all the way down that here. There we go. It takes too many hits to kill them bitches. Alright. Oh, 
I did not mean to pull that out. <clears throat> Stop! I meant to get away from my Deku mask. I can use my sword. Kill these bitches. Yeah. Fall in the pit. Bitch. Okay. Let's dive bomb this one. Yeah. Got you. Both meanings are correct. I mean, I think that's really cool, you know? I just never really thought about it as, like, a terminal illness. Um, but I think that's totally valid. And yeah, um, I can so see it. All right. I'm gonna fly over to this area right here. Okay. Isn't this the Deku scrap mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. I mean, probably. All right, another owl statue. Let's whack him. And now we can teleport back here. Um, now we're not going to do anything with this platform quite yet, but you can get a fairy out of here, so that's that's pretty. In Excuse me, that's pretty interesting. We're gonna traverse around the other side. Let's fly. Let's fly over here. There you go. I deserve that. For all the stress you put me through. Oh, shit. Now, Link is too heavy to stand on the lily pad, so he can't do that. Thought of Terminator first, you know, the masks come from dead people. Yeah, I've heard that in Terminate, the Terminated interpretation, too. But that one, I'm actually, like, not in agreement on, like, thinking that that was the intention. Um... Just because of the way that the game ends. Like, I don't really think the intention is termination. Yeah, that's what you get, fly. Stupid dragonfly. Okay, we're gonna go around this way. We're gonna dodge this guy's bullets. But I do like the terminal, your interpretation of like terminal as in an illness. Because we are here, here healing an illness. I mean, ah, oh, god damn it, he shoved me off! At least I'm a Deku, so I'm not gonna... Yeah. Oh, good. It did count as me landing there. Alright, so we want to come open this chest. <clears throat> Piece of heart! Alright, it's just rupees in this chest, so I'm not gonna bother with it. We're just coming back out here. Alright, next what we're gonna do... So there's a couple more things I want to do before I end stream that I want to show you guys. So... How do we do that song? Down, left, up. Not Woodfall. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go fly to the entrance of the swamp. Determination to be involved. Mm. I suppose it could. I mean, Link has to be determined. But <clears throat> I don't think he necessarily is. I think he's here experiencing this personal journey because he doesn't know what else to do. 
Like, if he's looking for Navi and he can't find Navi, then the only other thing he really knows is helping people. So, he's gonna help people until he can figure out how to find Navi. That's what he's here doing. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come around this way, we're gonna leave the swamp, <clears throat> and we've got um, a couple of things that we're gonna do. We're gonna get another piece of heart and another mask. So this next piece of heart you have to do during the day. You can't do it at nighttime, really. It's not gonna work out. So it's around over here. And we have to be a little bit careful because that bird right there that's flying above that grass, it will steal your items. Um, it's a bitch. But there's a hole by these butterflies that we're gonna go into. And you can see there's a pea hat in the hole. So this works just like the Dodongo one. So I'm gonna save state in case I die. So let's see, make sure I did that right. So we're gonna save state. Okay, and we're gonna try to kill this pea hat. Now, the reason you have to do this during the day is um, if you do it at night, he won't like show his little vulnerability. He won't, he won't show you his little pea dingle dongle and then you can't kill him. So you wanna see, you wanna see his little, his little pea butt. He's a pea hat, you want to see his pea butt, and you just, you just keep hitting it. You just keep hitting it until he dies. That's it. Oh, isn't that the thieving bird from Mario Odyssey? I'm, I assume, I guess, I don't know, I never really played enough Mario Odyssey to be sure, but it probably is the same stupid bird. All right, and here we go. Guess what it is, another piece of heart. Next area we're gonna go to. Oop, I didn't mean to put on the Deku mask. I've got my C buttons um, set to this other control stick, so it's easy to accidentally tap it. All right, so we wanna go down in this little area right here. Dodge the bird. Don't try to fight the bird. He will give you a lot of rupees if you do fight him and kill him, but it's not worth it because he steals your shit and you don't get it back until you reset time. It's very fucking annoying. <clears throat> like, he'll steal your shield and stuff. Hate it. Alright, so there's another owl statue down here. We're gonna strike the owl statue. Alright, and Tingle is here too. And we know what we do with Tingle, we pop his balloons. Oop, nope, I wanna put that on actually. Put it on. I wanna shoot. Shoot! You're snot of power! And when you're feeling all down, Tingle will come around and sell you maps. So you can find your way. Uh, sir? Yeah, so he's the same thing. Um, it's kind of funny, because now that he knows us, he doesn't give us the whole song and dance. He just skips right to, will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Because we talked to him already. So we're going to buy the Romani Ranch map. So that's where we are right now. We are in the Romani Ranch. <clears throat> Thanks, Tingle. You're my bestie. Alright, now, this right here, we cannot get past it. We cannot get past it. Uh, someone was up to no good mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. Sorry, wait another day. Okay, you can try to explode it. I will show you what happens, um, when you explode it. So, um, let's, uh, let's do our shield. <laughs> and explode. You can see you don't take damage when you do it that way. Um, and he just runs away, but then he goes right back to chopping. It doesn't do shit. It doesn't do shit. Okay, so here's what we have to do. We're gonna have to skip. We're gonna have to skip to the next day. Mm-hmm. Now there is one improvement in the um, next one in the in the remake version of this, where instead of doing like um, every like half day, 
you can actually like go to specific hours so you don't have to stand around waiting for midnight like I did in that a moment ago. All right, the road is clear now. Um, so that is one improvement on the remake. <laughs> this is Romani Ranch. <clears throat> you can only get here on day three right now in the game. Earlier, we'll be able to get here sooner, but that's all it is for right now. Um, now there really is not so much you can do here on day three. Um, there's not so much you can do. So let's just kind of look at what we do have. So we've got a little girl over here. We saw her and oh, what's this? Is that our horse? Oh my gosh, look! Isn't that your horse? It's Epona! Epona the pony! Okay, but we can't really do anything about that right now, unfortunately. There's another doggy, and then there's this little girl who um, really won't talk to us. She just says, huh? Okay, and then Romani, she is added to our notebook. Also, if we go in here, we have another person, Kremia. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now I'm thinking a little, my little sister, my sister, she, um, she, what shall we do? Precious cows. If I thought it would come to this, then what Romani said, I should have... Okay, so Kremia is now added to our notebook. She's the ranch owner. So she talked about cows. I ain't seen no cows. Personally, where are the cows? Okay, so that's a question that we will have to answer a little bit later. The reason why we're coming here and just doing this kind of piecemeal is because what you can get from this is so incredibly important to playing this game well. Now, you don't have to. You don't have to if you like to be slow. But we need to come over here and we need to see our friend. Okay, this is the Coco Shack. So we're gonna go to the Coco Shack and, uh, and let's talk to this man right here. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall, but something that big is sure to take the ranch down with it. <laughs> oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. All right, so Shane, I mean Grog, was added to our notebook. Um, and we know how to make them roosters, right? Because remember, when we wear the mask, they grow up real fast. So let's put the Bremen mask on and let's march. So we got to go around and we got to find all the little cuckoo chicks. Apparently they're all boys, um, because he wants to see them in their prime as roosters. Now when you're doing this, you can't let go of the B button or the marching. You just have to slowly march around like this. Um, so if the chicks are very spread out, hopefully they're not, um, then this isn't too bad. But if they're really super spread out or they get into like little nooks and crannies and you have trouble finding them, this can be a little annoying and take a while. So I definitely recommend slowing down time for this, um, especially if you're coming and doing it on the third day, really early in the game like I am, so that you don't um, run out of time and all of a sudden get to night of the final day and you're like marching around looking for chicks. <clears throat> Not your typical Friday night. there in the corner. There's some more chicks over here I saw. It's just these two. That will be all of them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, there's two more. I see. Don't stop marching when you get them all. I 
just like to walk them in front of him. Look! Look, Shane, I mean Grog. Welcome, Luna, welcome! Look at them, look at them! Yay! I don't really get it, but I just see in these guys with their crests and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. And we got the bunny hood! The best mask in all the fucking game. Let me show you what it does. <clears throat> yep, yep, they're all roosters. So we fulfilled his wish and we got the got the bunny hood. Okay. So let's go put it on. Watch this. <gasps> we so fast, we so fast, we so fast. Thank you so much for the howl, howl uh, Luna. Thank you, thank you. Did you have a good time at church today? We run fast now, we run fast. We run fast like the bunny. Okay, so now we need to go and use our Song of Soaring. Oh, that wasn't right. No. That Song of Soaring? Yes. All right, so we're gonna go to Clock Town. <coughs> All right, so we're on the third day, and that is all the things we wanted to accomplish in the second stream. So we are gonna go down here, and we're gonna deposit our money, like we always have to do at the end of our third day cycle. Yes, we need to deposit our rupees. Yep, we're gonna make a deposit. Yes. What? Yes, we're gonna give you that much. All right, now we want to... Oh, I played it backwards, didn't I? No, I played the regular. So do you want to save and return to dawn of the first day? Yes, yes we do. And we lose all of our consumables. Remember, that's why it's so important that we deposit our rupees. You can see buy bombs, buy Deku sticks. Bye bye. And now we're at dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Here we go, back at the beginning. So I'm gonna save state as well. So we have a regular save and a state state save and that's it all right you guys that's it for majora's mask today um we will be playing more majora's mask next week um but for now for now we're gonna say goodbye to our friends that are watching the vod on youtube so um people on youtube come back next week for more majora's mask thank you so much for watching and of course as always don't forget to make it a great day